hugs. Whether it's hugs, cuddles, or if you're from where I'm from, kutches, they're not just a nicety. Hugs are really important for human health and resilience. And if, like me, you've gone through the whole of lockdown without a hug, you might be experiencing quite a unique sensation right now. But we'll delve into that in a bit, because first we need to understand and get into the intimacies of hug science. Hi, I'm Alice Gray and welcome back to another episode of Grey Matter, the series of science shorts that talks all things brain and cracks all things cranium. Hugs are a great way of social bonding. When we hug, we see an increase in the chemical oxytocin, commonly known as the cuddle chemical, because it's released during skin-on-skin -skin contact. This oxytocin triggers processes in the brain that give us a feel-good feeling, which is why hugs feel amazing, and also increases our bonding with another person. Oxytocin also has impacts on our health as it decreases our blood pressure. During cuddles, we also see a reduction in stress hormones, which means that cuddles are really good for our heart health. Hugs don't just have benefits for our physical health, but are also important for our emotional resilience. Psychologists have found that we need between 8 to 12 hugs a day for survival and self-maintenance. Humans are pack animals, naturally meant to be around each other and feel safest in numbers. Therefore, we have an inbuilt safety mechanism that will make us seek out humans if we've been on our own for a while. Much like the hunger pains you feel when you need to eat, loneliness is our inbuilt feedback mechanism that drives us to seek out human interaction if we've been alone for a while. And because of our integral need for human proximity, lonely people have an increased chance of suffering from anxiety or mental health issues. Human touch is an incredibly important part of tackling loneliness. And people who have been touch deprived might be experiencing a sensation called skin hunger. Now that's not the sudden taste for human flesh, but more a craving for skin on skin contact. In fact, skin hunger can feel like torture and those who are currently isolating alone may be really struggling with the lack of human touch. Hugs are really helpful when you're dealing with times of stress or pain. And actually, psychologists have found that people will endure a series of painful and stressful electrical shocks for longer if they can seek physical comfort from loved ones. So a hug during a global pandemic might be a little bit useful. So if you have access to hugs during this lockdown and pandemic, make sure to make use of them. They're going to be really important for your mental health. And if, like me, you're dealing with this on your own, make sure to be kind to yourself. Be honest with those that you love how you're doing and hang on in there. Thanks for watching this episode of Grey Matter. Stay tuned for next time and stay safe. <laughs>